What's going on, everybody? Got a little PSA economy return that came in the mail today, plus real quick mail day. I mean, nothing crazy. Um, some of the stuff I won the other night. Pro set, yes, I know, Leaf, Mac Jones Auto. I think he's got around 80 bucks or something. 70, 80 bucks. It's just something picked up cheap. About Jerome Bettis Museum. Uh, 25. Won that too the other night. All right, PSA return, guys. Took about six weeks, roughly, I think, on this one. Six, seven weeks for uh, economy order. First up, pulled this myself. Jalen Lewis. This is out of that Topps Chrome. Um, oh, gosh, I can't remember what it's called now. Overtime Elite. Elite Overtime or something like that. OT. But. Came back a nine, kind of figured what I looked at because there was some marks onto it. You can see the one line, it goes right across there. I mean, I knew you can't send this back into tops to get a new one. I'll see if I can see the line for you guys. It's going to be hard to see. Yeah. But I, I have no idea the value of this. I know these raw were going like 150 ish, so. Huh. Very great. It just so I don't have to play the game of. You know, selling it and people asking a ton of questions. Next up, Sidney Crosby. I, I'll tell you what, right now, every grade except for this Crosby, I predicted. Crosby came back higher. So, this I, th I thought was going to be a 7. They gave me a 7.5. And, and if you guys remember, this is the one my buddy uh, from the show had. Gave it to me for a good price. See that top right corner? Yeah. But to get a Sidney Crosby auto, 7.5... You know, it's one of the guys I collect and stuff. Figured, what the heck. Get it graded, slabbed. It's with me now. It can't get any more jacked up than it is. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool overall. Speaking of Crosby's, he threw this in the deal. I tend this. This is the Clear Cut Champions. It's a die cut. Very, very hard <laughs> to tend a die cut. Especially all acetate. These were numbered out of 100, so I can't find a Crosby that's sold within like the last probably six months or so, maybe a year. But I have found Mario Lemieux. Lemieux's were selling around $68 raw, roughly. But I know Crosby's more, so it just gives me an idea with it being a 10, being the only one out there graded, and it is a 10. It just adds to my collection of Crosby right now. Pretty cool stuff, though. All right, moving along. Picked this up a while back to show you guys remember Ovechkin. Pretty much eight's what I thought it would come back as. It had some whiting up here, here. So, near mint, not bad at all onto it. What I thought was funny, though, is check what I don't get. Okay, that's, oh, it says near mint, mint. Okay, okay, that's why. I got it now. I'm a dum-dum. But yeah, this was out of 99 Panini stuff. Uh, there's only two graded of this, and they're both eights for PSA, so you guys know I've been hunting Ovechkin just for the fact that he is going to break Gretzky's goal record, in my opinion, and his stuff is just going to go stupid, so I've been picking that stuff on the side. This was another card in that same deal with the Crosby. He's only picked the best one out. I guess I did, because this pretty much would have paid for my order and Joey's order, to be honest. Um... Tavares Young Guns, these are somewhere in the neighborhood of about 440 to, I'd say 470-ish. Depending on the day of the week, if they're coming from Canada or not. But finally got one, graded it, 10. Really happy with this here. I know, four cars for hockey today, but... To me, hockey's a little bit safer in my market right now. Look at me, I'm stalking like a freaking investor. It's a little bit safer with values right now. So I've been sticking with getting hockey stuff mostly. Uh, unless I get in a Raz room and win something crazy out there. But that is everything, guys, for PSA with small order. You guys will see Joey's probably late next week, so I'm not going to be able to get out till Tuesday due to the holiday. You guys have a good, safe 4th of July tomorrow. And if it's raining... Reference back to Saturday's video. I mean, there's a. I know it's like two and a half hours or something, but for three videos to watch, it might be more or less, but roughly. Uh, really good information. 
of what happened with the gaming market, the history before it and everything with coins and even tulips and stuff. You know, just it just brings a lot of stuff into light. Like, you know, people read um, older material and stuff like that and then just how it revamps itself. Just like bell bottoms, corduroys, penny loafers, all that stuff. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good one. I will catch you guys next video.